Welcome everyone to a new episode of The OC Show. This is episode 21. This is Tim, my name is Peter. First things first, there's going to be a Q&A next Sunday. Yeah, so next Sunday, 9 p.m., so that would be on November 1st, just after Halloween, so don't forget, drink moderately so we can still have you on board for the show. On the show, we'll have uh, Pepino next week talking oh. about the MSI Z170X Power Titanium Edition. So it's going to be a pretty interesting show. Yeah. So, uh, also, that, that reminds me, if you want to check out last week's yep. Q&A, that, that featured uh, uh, Elmore, who works for ASUS, and he presented the Maximus 8 Extreme live in the Q&A, also giving some background information on yeah. how the design process Absolutely. works, what's important for uh, for the ROG engineers, and so on. Very interesting uh, Q&A session. Yeah, so link in the description, yeah. I suppose. Moving on to the competitions, the Rookie Rumble closed. Yeah, the Rookie Rumble number 23 closed with 261 participants. Um, so Sergei, uh, Sergei R. from Ukraine, which we already talked about in the previous episode, won this one with 150 points. Uh, BTDAG from the UK with 105 points. A second and NCNMD, which we find again in the AMD one, is uh, from Portugal and was, has 84 points. Very good. And the AMD version of the Rookie Rumble also closed. This was mm -hmm. AMD number 20. On top, we find another overclocker from Ukraine, Co Cos S, um, yep. followed by NCN MD from Portugal and AMD RTP Jack Allo Peter from the USA. Very well said. <laughs> Since we're talking about the Rookie Rumble, there's a new one that started this weekend for both the, well, I would say AMD and Intel. So if you want to participate, Gskill is again sponsoring some DDR4 kits for the Intel one and DDR3 for the AMD one. So always a good uh, chance to upgrade your memory kits. So enter. How about the no Novice Nimble? So the Novice Nimble, there's still 19 days left. It's going to end at the same time that the newly started Rookie Rumbles. Uh, right now, 45 teams, if we count all the teams of, uh, you know, of the novices of this country, etc., for the automated teams. Overclock.net, 232 participants. It's first Overclock.pl team, so from Poland, with 164 points a second. And Tech Lab OC from Brazil is third with 159 points. And Crocodland is back in the top five. Oh. Okay, yes. Calcutt Land <laughs> is up and coming in. I think Overclock Tonight is very serious about, about winning this one. So this should be an interesting an interesting um, battle at the end. Yeah. Interesting as well is the HyperX HOT qualifiers that just kicked off. Uh, there's, uh, what, 19 days left? Yep. So a bit more than Three two weeks. weeks. Yeah, two um, currently in the lead is Arsenino from Italy. Uh, second place, Lumi from Finland. And in third place, Splav from the USA. So Splav already participated in the previous HLT. The and two I think, previous ones. Even. I think he yeah, had the one before that as well. Lumi is someone completely new. We've never seen him in a live competition, so it would be wonderful if he can qualify. The same goes with Arsenino, who's been at the top of mm -hmm. the HLT rankings for a very long time, but never has participated in a live overclocking competition. So this might be a, this might be a chance for new faces to yeah. turn up. Don't forget, there's two spots for each region for that HOT qualifier. So if you check out our previous OC Show episode, the number 20 on the YouTube channel, you can learn more about that competition. There's also one spot for someone who finishes in the top 20 but cannot or doesn't make it in the top two of the region. Mm, so yeah. that's pretty interesting. So talking about competition, the Country Cup, uh, we mentioned that a uh, little bit briefly last time, but now all everything is announced. You call it a barnstorming contest pitching countries versus countries. Uh, what is uh, the Country Cup about for this So year? the Country Cup is a competition where you basically overclock for the pride of your nation. Mm -hmm. So you're defending your own flag. It comes down to, it's very similar to the Team Cup where you need to have different people from the country coming together to form a, an average mm -hmm. score. So there's five stages this year. First stage is uh, is three Marco six with NVIDIA graphics cards where the the points are based on the sum of the hardware points that you can gather. The, the key point here is that you can use one graphics card per family. So you can use one graphics card, for example, from the GTX 400 series, one from the 200 series, and so forth. But of course, you also need to have the highest hardware points. And so all 10 different people. The 10 different people as well, yes. Yeah. So that's a bit of a tricky uh, tricky stage. Stage two is a fire strike with IGP, and mm -hmm. you have to use a different CPU socket. Five people, five different IGPs. Uh, stage three is Geekbench 3 single core with different memory types. Okay. So you need to have five different memory types, DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4. DDR5. <laughs> no. That doesn't <laughs> exist, yeah, no. Um, so 
probably SDRAM or good, something good like luck. that. Yeah. <laughs> Five scores again as well. Stage four is XTU with one, two, eight cores, where you need to have five scores, one core, two mm -hmm. core, four core, six core, and eight core, evidently. And then the final stage is a GPU Pi 32B, where you can go full out. So anyone who can hook up 16 cores to their rig or have, or a, <laughs> have a pretty good chance of, of winning of winning that round. Right, talking about winning, there's some cool prizes for this one. So like uh, every year, we've got the pleasure to see Gigabyte and G-Skill sponsoring the competition. Um, so Gigabyte will be uh, providing some uh, Z170 SOC Force motherboards. Um, G-Skill will provide some DDR4 memory. Um, very high-end kits, actually. Yeah. Very nice. There's a selection of different kits, but it's the top ends are really, really nice. Yeah. Um, Kingpin Cooling providing some LN2 pots. That's always cool. I hear they might be engraved or something yeah. like that. Collector edition. Uh, thermal Grizzly, which uh, which is manufacturing thermal paste, also providing some um, kits for that. And uh, there's some HJ bot thermal flask as well. Yeah, so Those are mini 50. Pretty wide it, yeah. range of prices here. Cool. Awesome. So a lot of things also happen in the community besides the preparations for the Country Cup. And um, so Centino X, an overclocker from Spain, has been busy lately um, again at some LAN parties in Spain for hosting the Gigabyte OC schools over there. So we saw him at the Bilbao encounter from the Euskal LAN party. And Euskal also has another LAN in uh, Spain, the Araba in Cordo, which is a different city. It's the second one there. And uh, again, um, having a workshop explaining in front of the crowd, you know, uh, how overclocking works, how you do that, explaining how the leagues works, uh, the competition side of things, and then a practical hands on a session with whoever was Very interested. Very cool. In, in Japan, we saw two legendary overclockers, mm -hmm. Duck and Shimizu, uh, giving some classes as well. I think the most impressive one was Duck's, where he, he was sitting in a university uh, lecture, essentially, teaching to 300 people what extreme oh. overclocking is. And we also saw some pictures where the students could come to the front and try to control the temperature as, uh, as well. Shimizu did something similar, uh, but mainly focused on launching the Gigabyte SoC Force okay, motherboard yeah. the Z170 uh, again explaining what overclocking is, what extreme overclocking is, and then having some people in front of uh, and or on in front on the stage trying to control the temperature and getting oh. used to what extreme overclocking is about. Yeah, it's really cool. It's nice also to see that those workshops are not only just amateurs with air cooling, it also gets all the way to LN2. That's great. Uh, in India, ASUS hosted the first ever ROGOC showdown event there. It was combined with a um, um, ASUS, um, how do they call it, power user meet. So the first day was the power user meet, the second day the ROGOC showdown. They had same their workshops explaining how everything works. So if people are not yet aware, they could learn everything there. They had the chance to to get hands on the latest gear, of course. And um, Hassan was there, invited from Indonesia to um, show off some benchmarking there and have the chance. Some people there had the chance benching with him, which is kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, that was a pretty cool event as well. Very busy week, actually. And we had Tullius on the OC show last time. So if you missed the last Q&A, watch it. He's explaining basically what they did there. Some, and there's a lot of pictures as well, a lot more than we can show you in this episode. Last thing that we have to mention for sure is the overclocker in focus. Last week we had Matose, a mm -hmm. world champion overclocker, won MOA and Go C in the same year. Next up is Ronaldo from Brazil. Yeah, actually, uh, the Matose was two weeks ago. Oh, right. right. Sniper House last ah. week, <laughs> last Friday. Yeah, the weekend was pretty short. Um, so, yeah, and uh, Ronaldo from Brazil, like you say, so um, he has a lot of things to say. Uh, it's uh, sometimes hard to to stop him, so enthusiastic he is. So I really recommend you to watch the video. He says uh, some really cool stuff. He has some really cool thoughts about the future of overclocking and how he sees, from his per perspective in Brazil, how things can evolve from here on. So I, th I think uh, the interview of yeah. Sniper House was pretty interesting also, as well. Yeah, very good, yeah, exactly. So that's it. That's it for today. Yeah. yeah. So don't forget, guys, the live Q&A is um, this Sunday, um, November 1st. We will have the chance again, like I say, to have Pepino on board and maybe some other gears not yet confirmed to talk about some really interesting things. Again, if you have any questions, just join in the show and ask the questions on the chat. Until then, keep pushing it. See ya.